We all know what a nice car looks like. We can hear them, sometimes we can tell by the smell of the leather interior. But the bottom line is, our entire driving experience boils down to safety and reliability. Any cars we drive must first be analyzed, verified and scrutinized. So how do they do it? Through automotive testing, and you guessed it, the Automotive Testing Lab. For more information on trends and analyses and these kinds of labs, be sure to see our dedicated episode on this subject. But firstly, what is automotive testing? Well, it's an extensive process that puts our vehicles, components and systems in cars through virtual and real world evaluations. What comes out of it are cars which are made safe, reliable and compliant with safety regulations. Automotive testing, by the way, is unavoidable. Producers must show evidence of compliance and rigorous assessment. Without it, companies just miss out on access to global markets and manufacturers. So what happens exactly in automotive testing? Well, it covers a wide range of features from individual components analysis to emissions testing to buzz, squeak and rattle testing. You might also be familiar with crash simulations. Yes, they are an essential part of this, but so are electronics, battery, tire and wheel, even safety and scenario testing. And these are just some of the activities you can find in the automotive testing lab. Testing labs might not even need four walls, by the way. They can be done outside. Mercedes-Benz carries out its famous moose test to help avoid certain obstacles. These happen at the last second, so the test is outside. So why is automotive testing important in the first place? Well, there are a wealth of benefits, of course. The first being regulatory compliance with global standards ensures overall safety. It's a life and death issue, after all. And in a competitive market, it also does make for good PR. There's also the early discovery of faults as well. Ever wonder why our car recalls make big headlines? Component testing helps to discover issues in the early development phase. That helps avoid expensive product recalls. Research and development is another benefit. Developing new automated mobility technologies makes it possible to deploy new solutions from the early stage. It's here that the theory becomes an actual reality and becomes money. Let's not forget your safety. Testing various solutions, components and systems helps put the product through rigorous assessment to ensure consumers enjoy the maximum safety from their vehicle. And yes, marketing is primed to win as well. Brand reputation relies on automakers testing their product to buff out any kinks and bumps in the new cars. At the end of the day, it's all part of being a provider of quality vehicles. Of course, things are always changing in a fast moving industry. Firstly, there's voltage. According to the head of Volkswagen Group in the US, Scott Q says that electrification is becoming the next big thing. Not only are factories gearing up for producing such electric components, they're also adapting it in testing as well. They even call it the chance of a lifetime. Like many, he admires Elon Musk and what he did with Tesla. He said, make a cool car and good things happen. According to him, people don't buy electric vehicles because they want to feel good or because they want to help society. It's a little bit more superficial than that. They just want to buy a cool car. Now they're riding with the cool wave at Volkswagen as well, but scaling it up. So expect the words electrification to pop up in industry journals too. Secondly, the results and the, the risks of outsourcing. Once upon a time, automotive industries were vertically integrated wherever you looked. Then Wall Street investors played a huge role in management and where to save money. What that meant was much of the industry got outsourced. For many firms, that is a blessing. All factories needed to do was wait for components to arrive. But now that cars rely on more sophisticated semiconductors and batteries, firms need to look further away from fewer suppliers, meaning there's greater pressure to test these elements than ever before to make sure they are the real deal. Suppliers are part of this too. Manufacturers supplying the industry, well, they're subject to the same scrutiny, quality control and analytical testing as the cars themselves. And these are parts in shipping, military, material handling, mass transit, all kinds of other applications. These firms undergo routine production checks, R&D efforts, as well as comparative analyses of different lots, materials and suppliers. In some cases, firms investigate the cause of failed components, which can be metallic, polymer, composite or even plastic. Remember, though, not just any firm is equipped for the challenges of testing. 
exhaustive lab experience is essential. After all, the best vehicles look for a gold standard in testing traditional fuel-driven cars, trucks, buses. But look out for the companies with experience in electric vehicles, because that, my friends, is where the real frontier lies. So, with some final thoughts, we all know that automotive testing labs involve putting materials, components, or assembly through analyses. Some testing simulates real or natural environments in extreme conditions, and typically in a very accelerated time frame. But when we think of testing labs, we can imagine test options that include environmental, flammability, durability, materials, telematics, or even failure analysis. If design is at the heart of any car, then testing laboratories are the brain. The entire global transport sector relies on developing and improving and maintaining quality products and systems. And it's all possible thanks to the Automotive Lab. So, next time you begin your journey, think of the lab and the incredible role it plays in making sure you get from A to B. That's it for this episode. Be sure to check out our other episodes from Lab Insider, discussing everything from oil and gas to food labs. That's it for now. Take care and see you next time. <laughs>